Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time that I post. Let's go ahead and tap into the messages here. These readings are timeless, so whenever you're meant to come across them is when you have a message here, okay? Somebody could be watching a, a TV show or a movie, okay? So I heard viewers' discretion is advised, okay? This could even be a documentary, okay? We have the devil in reverse, so you're releasing something to make room for whatever this is okay i feel like somebody's getting um recognition this could be finances work or something like that because the six of pentacles it looks like you're reaching for something somebody's going to have to make a sacrifice to reach out for something to receive something this is an equal give and take Okay, whatever these um, destructive patterns, occultic practices, dark energy, codependency, obsession, anger, um, uh, whatever these, these struggles are, you're releasing it to have the six of pentacles here. Capricorn and earth sign could be significant. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. I heard something about a view. I don't know if, if what it, whatever it is that you're looking at or how you see things or what somebody is viewing is significant here. What's the devil? Why is it in reverse for Virgo? What have you released and taken back your power from? We have the Ten of Swords being hurt, lied to, betrayed targeted um ridiculed tortured yeah this is this is somebody that went through a lot okay i feel like there is an ending to some sort of deceit betrayal you're going through transformation there could be money troubles there could be yeah there's something that's falling away from you that you don't need to go through anymore and the affirmation of the Ten of Swords is, I let go of the past and embrace a new beginning. Something beautiful is about to take place or be allow you to be restored from. You will no longer allow yourself to purposely fail because you are comfortable with putting up with something. You've grown immune to something. You shouldn't have to be immune to abuse, immune to being unhappy immune to regularities of of a lack of a life this is not where your story ends okay that's why you're being brought a new beginning i feel like somebody here could be manifesting having um compassion or needing support gaining counsel obtaining healing you're manifesting this. You're allowing this to happen or take place for you. You're separating yourself and moving away from someone that, you know, may not have accepted lessons. Somebody could have been stubborn here. Look, nine of wands. One of the first things that comes up is stubbornness. Defensive. Somebody being defensive to the things that they need to work on. But they don't. Now, you've been pulled into a different direction from this person. And that's why you're receiving blessings. You're being offered something. You're being given some type of security and stability. God is saying, right? Take my hand. And after you take my hand, I will show you or lead you to abundance. I will lead you to blessings. I will give you everything that you deserve. And there you go. You're shedding layers of your yourself in the past to bring change into your life. Okay? 
you may be feeling lonely at first when you have to walk in a different direction, but you're doing it. I'm getting something about a turtle or something having, having multiple heads or whatever this is here. It looks like a flower, but I see like a snapping turtle, but like with multiple heads or this could be a fish. I'm not sure. You have multiple people coming in from different directions that see the new you, the new and improved you that makes them want to come back in your life. You might be receiving letters, text messages, DMs, emails from particular people, especially an older masculine. Okay, I'm telling you, this person is coming in for a good time, not a long time, but... I feel like you're going to curve this person because when everybody came up against you and your name was drugged through the mud, they didn't necessarily do anything. And now they feel like they're going to make some good decisions here. Somebody was confused whether they should take your side opposed to other people. Where was the loyalty? Where was the love? And now you feel like because they see the new and improve you and it looks good, they want to come back around. I'm telling you, that's because they're having issues. Somebody is definitely um, going through um, some sort of conflict around them that they feel like they could, they could bum rush you to enter your life when things are going to be much better than it was. Somebody is, is con conflicted about failing you, not doing more. They want to apologize for walking away or not doing more for you. Allowing um, what they wanted to have or using power dynamics to escape their own, their own demons. Somebody was only thinking about themselves. Let them do the work. Don't let them come back to you broken and with all those toxicities around them now they're being attacked everything that they you, they might have witnessed you going through they're going through in their own lives and they're looking to you as their savior for healing don't do it somebody could be seeing the numbers 10 1 and 13 one 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 could be significant too there is a direct new beginning. Just because you shed layers of yourself and walked away from toxicities, codependency, obsession, and addictions, you released everything to restore abundance, contentment. Okay? Let's see here. What's the message? What do we need to know? Go for go. Look, we have barrel. So you may be feeling like something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. I feel like this is why you had to strip yourself from people, places, or things, or different situations that you've had to encounter, okay, to have something new. September is significant, or this could be pertaining to what has happened, in the past or what you wanted what you hoped for or this could be a person this could be a virgo or a libra there is a need to act when it comes to september i don't know what this is there is an opportunity or a door that may have opened that you need to um take action for let's see what's this barrel tell me more about this barrel yeah increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals keep working hard don't give up you know Maintain the momentum because there is something that is going to be spoken to you, okay? Or somebody wants to speak to you here. Let's see. Tell me more. Okay. Okay, Doesn't somebody doesn't want to face the fact that whatever it is that they have become accustomed to, this is not the route that you should be going anymore okay we have precarious and investment so your finances are going to be looking good and growing if it hasn't already 
there have been a lot of ups and downs with your finances, but you're getting a, a hang of it. Something is going to take off. What's the message? Look, luck. Luck is here. Jackpot, fortune, and reward. Okay. Spirit is telling you to be cautious about something. Okay, there's certain signs around you. I don't know what's what's significant to this broken glass, but there is a lot of spiritual warfare that's around you when it comes to your finances. I feel like somebody is sending dark energies to be used as a um, enemy that you may have trusted so that you will be left alone. There's somebody here that you need to leave alone because they're an enemy. And I feel like somebody here is trying to take something away from you or, or allow something not to be as, as strong. Somebody wants to weaken your gifts or a gift that you're supposed to receive, okay? Somebody has some sort of like negative attachment that could possibly um, subject your, your luck or your fortune, something to happen. You look, disturbance, disturbance and homeless. I feel like whatever these energies, these dark energies are, you're still in a place of love. Somebody could be getting a check of $10 million. Look, that's justice in the middle of the deck. Somebody needs to tap into loving themselves right now because this is where the game comes from. You loving yourself, not being in a place of lack. Okay. Somebody could be seeing the number 32. Somebody could be 32 years old. What's the message? For Virgo. Okay, so we have abandoned. Okay, so somebody here could have been left alone, walked away from, or somebody feels like a person has been cold to them and left them to just do life on their own. This is you or this is your person. Somebody feels really bad for doing this because you could have been somebody's uh, blessing, but they ruined it, okay? They ruined it for themselves here. They ruined it for themselves. But I feel like them walking away from you kept you from being distracted from your purpose. Something is not a shock to you or, or to this person about you wanting to block, separate, or bring space amongst you and this person just to focus on the present. Somebody plays too many games. And here they are with these dead roses that they won't throw away because they understand that the consequences that they're living through is because they didn't do you the way that you were supposed to be done. Okay? Somebody here is going to be forced to let go of you because the only time that somebody has or wants to impose on is using intimacy to correct their mistakes. But that energy is already exhausted here. Okay? Somebody wanted to get you pregnant or thought that that was going to happen. There could be some sort of like um, legalities that you're going to find out about. Where you're no longer confused about something. Let's see. for Virgo okay so we have lovers in reverse so this could be an ex-friend or lover okay whoever this person is there's some level of authenticity or somebody that is um, wanting to enter this authentic space 
to bring about some type of change. Okay, you could expect somebody of high honor or somebody honoring you that you may not be concerned about. I'm going to clarify the lovers in a minute. What is this expectation and high honor? Okay. We have judication and then we have courtship. Hmm. Somebody may have left you hanging or did not um, place some sort of like judgment on a situation because they thought that somebody else would be their perfect person but it was you that they needed to marry here but they didn't put any effort into this okay let's see what's this lovers in reverse so these could be exes or friends somebody is hoping that Hmm, there's something about an older child or a child that could be missing or un un I don't know, man. I don't like reading this little child in reverse. Okay, what is this little child in reverse? Short illness. Okay, somebody's child could be sick, which is why you're going to get some type of like um, monies or gifts for a child. You could be the dark haired woman or there's a dark haired woman that wants to give you some type of um, gift. Somebody here might have stole something or you're going to get... Um, wow. You're going to get answers from the courts about a woman that might have used your identity to receive some type of funds. She's going to have to give this back and you will receive it. But you have eyes on this, this gift. I heard the word planet. I don't know if this is somebody's placement. Oh, look. Gaining a lot of money in reverse. Somebody has to give it all back. Retroactive payments or something like that. Somebody's going to be happy to hear that. Okay, you could be a widow. Let's see. for Virgo okay so somebody is not your forever partner this is not a life partner this was somebody temporary okay whoever this uh, lack of a forever partner is they're getting some type of divorce or they don't want marriage okay somebody is losing a partner that they might have married as well as a friendship Somebody doesn't even want to be friends with this person, doesn't want to sleep with this person, but doesn't regret the, the lesson that they had to learn in it all. Something is not going to change. It's always going to be inconsistent, imbalanced, or unavailable. Somebody needs consistency or needs to be consistent. Okay, so we have Yewa guidance. So if you're seeing a dove, owls, or the goat, that means that you are being sent some type of guidance from the universe, your spiritual team. Because a death leaves an essence, you are not alone in the darkest hour. You will be guided towards some type of celebration or something that you should be celebrating. I'm telling you, Six of Pentacles, you're going to end up celebrating something that you manifested or that you're acquired to. Or you're going to be given something where you will have joy, dance, and shift to a more happier element or version of yourself. This is being done for you to raise your vibrations here. Let's 
passed the message. Okay, so we do have self-indulgence. So you could be focusing on yourself, your self-worth, time to heal, and just um, honing in on this, this truth or clarity. There's going to be some type of revelation that comes to you about somebody that may have not wanted you to, to ascend so that you can get over some sort of obstacles. They were supposed to be a part of your life to cause you obstacles so that you wouldn't expand. This is somebody that never really liked you for real, okay, that was always a snake trying to use the chaser energy to put you in a state of, of um, stagnation. Somebody used love to bring you stagnation but you still rise. You still rise. You're still being given some sort of level of appreciation. Some sort of like... Sorry, y'all. Give me a minute. You're still being given some type of like appreciation from what people see that you're doing. So everything that somebody's doing is in vain. But it's being written down. God is taking notes. God is taking notes. For the ones that think that they could do something, throw their, their rocks and hide their hands. God is watching. Okay. What's the message? Somebody thought that they could collect your soul or kill your confidence or allow you to be led astray. But it, it didn't happen that way. I'm telling you, whatever somebody's tried to steal is being played out. They wanted to try to cause you a loss or um, allow you to lose things, whether that's physical or emotional. But it's bad news for them. Okay? Okay. And now they're left with their their true emotions. Maybe this is what somebody wants to tell you. But you already caused me all of, all of this. How can I respond the way that you want me to respond? Virgo, how can you respond the way that somebody wants you to respond if all they've been doing is taking, taking, taking their whole life? But what does that leave behind? All the souls that somebody took. All the oaths that somebody agreed to just to put somebody in a state of of loss they're losing themselves they may even lose their life do you see how many skulls are in the water somebody could lose seven people in their life including their own life somebody could have seven years of bad news bad luck bad way of living because they targeted chosen ones I feel like there is a masculine energy he could be an Aries doesn't have to be where he has it in his chart that may show you the softer side of him when he's not in his um, work element okay somebody wants to see you smile or somebody might smile at you with a level of authentic energy it may not be just because they're trying to uh, flirt with you. It's just because you deserve to have a smile being put on your face. It's not too late. Somebody is trying to start some type of drama so that whatever drama that they start, you aren't able to block yourself from. Somebody doesn't want you to dodge bullets of some sort of drama that they want to bring to you. Or this could be you for them. Look, somebody don't even want you to call the police. They just want to be able to bring some type of drama to you, okay? For you to give them something that, they're, that they want or that you could offer up. Just to cause you another mournful um, energy. Somebody could even be threatening your life or threatening somebody's life that you are attached to. This could be family members, friends. Somebody's targeting you where you can't even call the police on this. Okay, this is somebody that drinks or uses drinks to cope. Somebody ain't really got nobody for real.
somebody here may be even like, um, hmm. I feel like there is a cop that could be working with a person that may have already been ran through the system to try to cause you some sort of problems here. Okay? Look, somebody here has paid for a reading or somebody's trying to get one from you. Don't take it. Okay? Somebody is trying to get some information from a spiritual practitioner about something that they they feel they have proof of something. They want to see how far this proof that they have will go. Okay? I'm hearing that there's no way possible that you need to be afraid of whatever tactic somebody has because they bluff it. And this shit, this shit, whatever this, this practitioner is saying, they see so much light within you through the energy of the of the reading that they can't irritate your demons. They they can't depict what's going on when it comes to this evidence that somebody has. Okay. Anything that somebody does to try to counteract your energy, you feel it. Somebody here could be talking shit. Somebody has family members that are talking shit. Or somebody's family members are talking about you. Somebody wants you to be bothered so bad because you have rejected them. Or you're rejecting anything that they are coming towards you with. Shocking news? That's not shocking news. Okay. Talking shit and family? What's talking shit and family? Okay. This, this reader is trying to get your family to give them information that they can use against you on top of the, the, the fake news that they found or whatever screenshots that they found. So be careful with your family here, especially a feminine or somebody that in your family that could be married, legally married, not saying that this is their husband, legally married. Watch out for this person feeding somebody information that they don't even know who this is. This could be a psycho crazy ex that is looking out for information or somebody you've been involved with. Somebody really has a lot of time to go to sleep, wake up, and think about you. But whenever it's pertaining to you, they they want to do they want to do work overtime to what? Okay, to reveal secrets, just to be caught up in a karmic situation or karmic cycles, looking you up. I'm, I'm serious. These cards don't lie. Okay. Look, looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. Somebody wakes up day in, day out, looking for information, going to your family members, you know, trying to get information out of them to expose something. About a um, about a proposal. Why is somebody worried about proposals for you, or what you got going on? They're trying to figure out what your six of pentacles energy is. This is what they're doing. They're trying to figure out what your six of pentacles energy is. Okay, so it looks like we have a breakthrough in reverse. Somebody is not able to have some type of breakthrough because of their ego and pride that they carry. Somebody is unable to travel or message or communicate with a person for a proposal. Somebody here, right, may want to find the worst so they don't have to propose because that is their ideal. Okay, so they're looking for something that they could find so that they won't have to come to you to propose. That's what I'm picking up here. Tell me more about this proposal, commitment, or um, this mercury energy. Somebody is always looking for the worst so that they don't have to give you the good. It's like, why do you waste your time? Trust divine timing. 
Okay, somebody could be jotting something down or reading a journal or whatever this is, making a journal entry. What is this trust and journal? Trust what is being um, written down or spoken on or whatever this is. When it comes to a, a false masculine, before you integrate lies with somebody, do your research. Okay, because somebody here could be a part of the corruption in the legal system. Or, or somebody could have disputes between them and somebody else. And you're thinking that somebody is your everything or they're, they're all that you ever wanted. I'm hearing that song by Drake, Best I Ever Had. Okay? Baby, you're my everything. You're all I ever wanted. That's the part I'm hearing. Hmm. Okay, I heard something um, about a back wall. Something about a back wall. Okay. Somebody's hiding something in their wall or a secret door. I don't know. Look, we have confessed. I'm starting to lose control or power of their thoughts or mind to manipulate. Somebody knows that they're unable to connect with you. That's why they have to do so much to figure out what it is that you're up to. Delivery instructions. Okay, I cheated. This is somebody that cheated. Domestic dispute. So the reason why y'all ain't, ain't really rocking with each other is because they cheated. And they thought that they could possess you or what you do. Um, telepathically connect with you without your permission. Phones turned off. Somebody can't stop thinking about you. Street life versus real life. Phones turned off. We have gaslight, smoke, and mirrors. We have celibacy. So somebody wants you to, be to believe that the same journey that you're on is what they're on. Number 13, protect your energy. Okay, do not let somebody come and <laughs> devour you. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This person is disgusting. Family estrangement. Their energy and how they carry themselves, they're disgusting. Family estrangement. I was only looking out for my best interest. Financially using and abusing you. Look, feds in unmasked vehicles. Somebody's working with the feds, bro. I said this. Good cop or good cops. So somebody that claims to be a good cop is um, getting this person to come towards you for what? To give you information. I told you, don't let this person come towards you. Sex spells. Okay? Somebody somebody here is working with the feds. Apparently, good cops are one label to be good cops. So they can come towards you to do spell work on you. Sex spells. That's why I said this person is disgusting. Their energy is disgusting. I already know the play. What's the message? falling for you. Somebody wants you to fall for them so they're doing sex spells to make that happen even sooner. I'm telling you, look, unexplained freak accident. What somebody is plotting for you, they'll get a backfiring awakening ten times worse. They want you to be in an unexplained freak accident. Okay? I'm staying to try to make this work. We have slim build and we have friends with benefits. Somebody thinks that you're their complete type. Somebody here is, thinks that you're their complete type. Let's see. We are submitting documents. There's a fair-skinned person that submitted documents that knows where you're at or has, somebody has shared information about your whereabouts to this person that may have submitted documents or something like that. Somebody move forward with this. 
this is somebody you could have worked with or you didn't really notice them or recognize them or whatever this is here. This could be the third party to this individual. What's the message? Okay, so we have government information leaked. Family dysfunction. So somebody here may have been keeping tabs on your your family life or talking to family or whatever this is. There's some sort of like information that is in somebody's um, vehicle, in their trunk. Look, government officials, professional spies. That's why you'd be feeling like people are following you and watching you and, and knows your business. Why? How could somebody know your business aside from like eavesdropping, but there's only so much eavesdropping you can do unless it's been planted in your home. Okay, put on hold. We also have business venture. Opportunity that's coming in there could be multiple opportunities didn't I tell you these are people these opportunities could also be like business career or money but these new opportunities are multiple people didn't I say this earlier yes yeah, somebody here wants you to meet them halfway but there could be a, a couple of them that just want booty okay they using you as a booty call we have danger Okay, somebody could be trying to do something to blindsight you or for you to have um, a blindfold pregnancy, like you not knowing that somebody's trying to do that. Okay, this could upset you because this is not something that you're looking to, to. Yeah, somebody here, your grandparents could be grandparents to a grandson. This could be the, the, the son that you always wanted, but not with the person that wants to give you this child. Okay, look, protection, bouncer, bodyguard. I said this in my collective read, okay? Somebody may need protection. Choose a man or woman over their family. So there's some sort of celebrity beef between couples or their person that chose a man or woman over their family. We have good reviews, feedback, detailed info. The letter T could be significant. Stalking a celebrity. Swingers lifestyle, I also seen that as well. Um, let's see. Message for Virgo. We have child magical. And it says that when it comes to a child magical, you see the potential for sacred beauty in all things. Okay, you've been like this your whole life. You always thought that you would have exactly what you wanted or somebody's child has abilities that they don't even understand spiritual abilities connectivities to the universe or somebody was always gifted okay and believe that anything that they wanted that was spoken or um that they hoped or wished for would happen look somebody has always been a spiritual guide a young spiritual guide or Whatever this is here, man. I feel like you have always been a guide to a child or yourself. So that if you were to ever overindulge 
or become addicted to something that you could service yourself or doing something for a cause. Okay. What's this child magical? That's why somebody has always been attacked as a child. Because you are you are a, a child um, guide or something like that. Or your child is a, a spiritual guide for you to stay on, on track or whatever this is here. Somebody's, somebody may be telling their child or, or teaching them not to depend on people to be independent to gain independence to do something for themselves or because that's what they truly believe in somebody is, is definitely invested in you and your children being a mystic okay or what to what degree are you having a connection to the universe yeah, so it looks like somebody's going... <laughs> you have people that, that claim that they are good cops that use individuals, criminals, to be placed into your life to gather information, okay? Because you're so private. So if they come towards you by being your friend or your lover or, you know, reaching out to your family, they can get information, there's something about you as a person, how you're made up, or to what ranking that you play a role that interests somebody. Because you're getting the six of pentacles that someone, someone knew that you weren't supposed to have. Somebody's curious about your connectivity to spirit. Okay, you are some type of guide or um, your, your offsprings carry some sort of guidance for others. So they're trying to use proposals to find out information to get to know you because they know you're not going to give up information like that. Okay. They want to steal your light. Look, this thief energy came out. It says somebody here wants to shed light on your potential wealth. So they, they won't be found out that they're trying to steal something. This is a masculine here. This could be an older white masculine. And they're hiding the fact that they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. It's inside of their jacket. Okay, do you see that? Somebody does not wear their heart on their sleeve. Somebody does not even, like, claim to be what they are. They're liars. And they're mad because there's something that you're going to be able to celebrate. And something that is within you cannot be ripped from you. It's a part of you. Okay. Anyway. Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.